بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ورتل القرآن ترتيلا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم تو ذا فيست ابيسود اوف مخارج الحروف ويث بابا سلام In the first episode, I would like to remind myself and your kind self of some important things we need to take note of when we want to fine-tune our articulation of the Arabic alphabet in reading the Quran. Remember, we have Fatha as the first sound of the Arabic alphabet. We have Kesra, Fatha as A, Ma, Na, Ta, Ta, Ba. We have Kesra as the second sound. E, Mi, Ni, Boi, Poi, Soi. We have Bomma as a third sound. That will be Mo, Nu, U, Fu, Bo, Po. Bo is Baad, Po is Ta. And we have Sukun, silence, in the form of At, M, N, At, Ab, S, 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 Ato, Eko, F, M, R, Ab. And so on. So these are the four primary sounds. Any other sound is built on this. If you talk about shadda, it is built on this. These four. If you talk about tanwin, they are built on this. And there you go. If you talk about mad mudud, it is also built on this. So we have to make sure that when we say ah, we open our mouth and make sure that we stretch ah to give a proper sound. That is first. When we say then we have to round properly in order to give that proper sound of pa. When we say uh, e, e, we have to stretch better in order to get it right. When we say u, u, we need to push our lips forward in order to get the u correct. And with that, we can build on to all the points of articulation of the letters. The letters of the Arabic alphabet are articulated through 17 points based on the classification of Imam Ibn al-Jazari. All right, and we will be doing our clips on this basis. Each point will be highlighted in a clip and we hope it does not get long. And these 17 points are grouped in four main, main angles or four main points. The first being the oral cavity, which we'll be covering today. The second being the throat. The third being the mouth. And the fourth being the nasal, nasal cavity. The mouth here is divided between the lips as well as the inner part of the mouth. Now let's take a look at the tree of the maharaj. We have over here the oral, the oral uh, cavity. These are what we, are, we will be covering today. We have the throat, the letters of the throat. We have the mouth. These are the letters of the mouth and each according to their point of articulation accordingly. And we have the nasal, nasal cavity. All right. So if we move on, we have our oral cavity points of articulation. We have three main sounds. Here I will not say three main letters. I will say three main sounds coming from the oral cavity and the oral cavity is empty space that 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 spreads and stretches from one's chest the reader's chest up to the throat and out through the mouth uh, the three points or the three sounds that are articulated from here are a uh, e and u what is a uh? a uh is basically the sound that is extended from alif that comes after fatha that is ah uh. an example of it will be ah uh, like this or ah uh, like this okay we say ah uh, look at where the the tongue is positioned look at where the tongue is positioned and more or less or oh, if you say do ko also your tongue will position more or less there but most importantly you need to open your mouth and 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 make space inside your mouth and examples will be وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا We don't say وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا 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 مَا Open your mouth وَمَا سَوَّاهَا And when you stop, do not close your lips right away Otherwise, it will, you will stop on a silent letter Which is not the case here سَوَّاهَا 
Next example will be فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقَوَاهَا Open your mouth. وَتَقَوَاهَا And then قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا كَاهَا And then you have وَقَدْ خَاءَ وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا So if you ask why does مَا وَا and ha all sound more or less flat but whereby when we reach here ha we said ha we don't say ha the extension of alif likewise wow and ya they follow the letter the characteristic of the letter they are extending so if the letter you are extending is a flat letter ma wa ha you the the, the sound of extension must follow it from from the beginning to the end and when the letter you are extending is a heavy letter, kha, ka, ta, da, then the extension must also follow it from the beginning to the end. Beginning to the end will depend on how much you need to extend. You may need to extend it two points here. You may need to extend it four, five, five points or even four points if you have al mad al mutasil al munfasil. You may need to extend it six points if you have al mad al lazim. All right. And moving on, we have the second sound that is produced from one's oral cavity is the extended ear that comes after kesra and this can only come after kesra it doesn't come after fatha it doesn't come after dhamma or else it becomes sukun and not mad and we have over here uh, this is how your tongue will look like and the example will be e e e e p c h and so on even if the letter is a heavy letter, sui, sui, we don't say sui, in, in that case we are adding wow to it, sui, qi, and so on. Examples from the Quran will be, irji'i ila rabbik, irji'i ila rabbik, fadakhuli fi ibadi, fadakhuli, Fi ibadi. Make sure you don't say fada khole, fada khole, fe, fe, ibadi, de, whatever. Fada khuli i fi ibadi. And we have over here. Wada khuli jannati. And next will be. Inna al-abrara la fi na'in. Ah, now you look at Naim. Naim. We stop on Mim. So if you are to stop on the second example, Fada Huli Fi Ibadi. What are you doing? You are adding Mim to it. And we should avoid this by all means. It is a very common mistake, unintended, but most mistakes are unintended. In al la fi Naim. Because there's meme there. If not, please don't add any meme for whatever the reason is. Our third one will be an extended wow that falls after a letter of Dhamma. Any letter of Dhamma. So we have over here, ooh. This is very important, especially when we find it. Sometimes we are lazy, especially when we, when we are tired, right? When you are tired and you feel lazy and you don't want to, to engage your points of articulation wherever uh, uh, limbs are involved this you may get this wrong so ooh, ooh, it's easy to say oh oh mm, mm. Ooh, push it forward and don't be shy ooh, how my lips look may differ from how your lips will look how your lips look may differ from how someone else's lips look uh, this is quran reading all right ooh, from the front, it should look like this. From the side, it should look like this. Examples will be Kalla sayalamun, moon. And inside your mouth, there must be space. Inside your mouth, there must be space. If not, something will be definitely wrong. La, this la comes from the first example. A'budu ma ta'budun. Noon. We have noon here, so we must stop properly. Those 
all the three points or the three types fall in this verse but the point here is the last one who and stretch to the to the noon because you're stopping on noon although the noon is not the point but who all right and then we have if you need to, to to stretch it to four to six maintain the position of your lips which with which you started from the beginning and don't say well, na un al ma and change it along the way. Alright? This is with regards to the three sounds that are produced or articulated from our oral cavity. I see you in the next. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.